It's your boy Premier. I mean, today I'm supposed to be shipping out to trucking school at Hirschback. Um, ran into a little problem. My flight got delayed. It's mad windy out there, so that's probably why I got delayed. Um, so my flight was supposed to be like an hour, so now it's at 1 a.m. So me and Josh is out here playing some fun a little bit in the clubhouse at the crib. And um, yeah, you know, I'm going to keep you updated on this motherfucking journey. Um, I touched down in Chicago, probably around like 7. Shuttle come and get me from the airport to take me to Iowa. Because you don't have an airport, they go directly to Ohio, Iowa. My fault, I said Ohio. They go to Iowa, so that's another three-hour shuttle drive. Um, but yeah, you're going to see me link up with Kingsley from, from me from the previous clip. You mean he been out there for like two weeks? I had some business. I was in LA. You know what I'm saying do a lot of shit, handle politics, and network with people. So, yeah, man, I'm test down tomorrow. Keep you on this journey with me. You two with a dope, man. Just got down, touched down to Hirschback headquarters, man. I'm at the hotel right now. Like I said, man, I was looking over Kingsley. You know what I mean? I just wanted you to break down. You say how the first week is. You saying he been here for two weeks? Like I said, um. Just touch here down today. So like break down like the first week, the second week. First week is cool. Like you really just do a lot of paperwork. You in the classroom. Um, they they tell you about the procedures. They kind of really just testing if you're stupid or not. Um, and they testing if you just kind of like can do paperwork. If you know some road signs, like if you know simple, simple operations. Um, and they teach you a little. They teach you all about the company and what they expect out of you. You're not gonna touch the road until probably like Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I think Thursday is the first day you kind of get in the truck or they take you outside and you learn how to do your pre-trip inspection. Mm -hmm. um, Friday, I think they'll let you do a little bit of straight line backing. So check it out. Kingsley broke down his first week. So I'm going to break down mine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did come to training in the middle of them changing the curriculum. So that's why my week is going to be different from his. Today is Saturday. You know what I'm saying? So I went through my first week of training. You off Saturday and Sunday is the first week. So Monday was the start of training. That was the first day of training. Class starts at 7.30. Monday was straight classwork. You know what I mean? Straight classwork, videos, modules, and then after the video is a little questionnaire. Um, we did payroll. Uh, they did us a cop gave us a comprehension test. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically to see if you know rule signs, math, all that. For me, simple stuff. You know what I mean? And um, lost two people from that. Also, that same day, lost another person because they was mad they couldn't have a beer. It was mad they couldn't have a beer, so they was like, nah, this guy's, he was, started arguing in class because he couldn't have a beer outside of class, on the campus, while he's in training. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, we all know that drunk and drive, drinking and driving is a serious thing. I mean, so why would they let you drink on the road? I mean, drink in the, while they're in the school program. Like, that's dumb. You know what I'm saying? And um, he just didn't want to hear it. So they kicked him out. So we lost three people the first day. So they checking your med card, your DOT card, um, your ID. Uh, Social Security, all that stuff they're checking, trying to make everything, make sure everything's good, checking everybody in. Monday, you do also get your packet for pre trip to study. You're saying A, B, C, and you get your cup and your end cap. All that you need to know, you need to learn. That's probably, well, they say it's probably the hardest thing to learn and the most important thing to learn because you can't go on to do your parallel, your offset, or test for your uh, straight back and all your, or your road test until you pass that pre trip. Y'all gonna, go, gonna know that once y'all get in here, what that pre trip is. It's important, it's the paper. Look like this, you know what I'm saying? Study that thing, like the back of your hand, flashcards, that's what I got to help me remember. You also got a truck in front of the hotel that stays there all day, 24 seven. So you can go in there and, and, and same work on your pre-trip. You know and we saying Tuesday come, same thing, we're doing a bunch of videos. It's a lot of videos you gotta do answer questions on. It's like little mini te tests and quizzes, you say it's a lot of those. Tuesday we took drug tests. We lost two more people because of the drug test. You know what I'm saying? They say that you take it Tuesday, you might find out, find the results all Wednesday and Thursday. You take it Tuesday, just be aware. The rest of the week, the rest of the week, you know what I'm saying? They could come in there and grab up the class and tell you you failed your drug test. You know what I'm saying? So people say two, Thursday, th uh, Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to find out. Nah, my class, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they, they found out. You know what I'm saying? You're finding out. So be prepared. That first week, you're going to find out if you pass your drug test for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, if you got a chance, feel like you're going, going to fail that joint, bro, go to your local, for me, uh, store or whatever, or you test your urine. You know what I mean? Here's the test, I know how that work. Work out. Work out, work out. Sweat, 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 sweat. And at least, don't be smoking for at least three months. At least three months just to be on the safe side. You know what I mean? Don't come in here and waste the time because it, it happened. You know what I'm saying? We lost five people so far and it's only been the first week. You only get three meals during the school week. You know what I mean? So, obviously, breakfast is early in the morning. I'm saying around 5.30 a.m., 5.45 a.m. Um, the breakfast is kind of, you know, 
it's not nasty, I'm saying, but it's the same thing every day. Waffle, cereal, juice, same bagel. Same shit every day for real, for real. Um, lunch is the only time you really get a hot meal. You know what I mean? A fresh meal from the chefs over there. Um, the food is decent, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad. Um, they don't put too much seasoning on their foods because, you know, there's so many people they got to cater to. They don't know what people like or what people don't like. So the food is bland, but it's free, so you shouldn't be complaining. Um, last meal is dinner time. 5.30 p.m. is when dinner could hear. Um, you know what I'm saying it could be what it could be anything. You know what I mean, Cause food is still bland. You might not like it. You might not like it. You might do like it. Either way, Walmart right across the street from the hotel. And um, for me, you can take the van to go get your food. Whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying just make sure you back before 9 p.m. Wednesday. You know what I'm saying in the afternoon, he took us out in the minivan, a trainer. You know what I'm saying you driving. He's um in the passenger seat. Took us out. And you want to see, you saying you call out stop signs, you call out if you're taking a turn, you call out if a pedestrian is walking, like make sure you see your observant of the road. You're saying before they put you in the actual truck, we learn a little bit of straight line backing. I mean, that's basically just backing up. I'm saying they taught us how to back up and stuff and watch your mirrors. And um, yeah, man, y'all gonna y'all gonna know how know all this stuff. And um, hopefully the, the curriculum doesn't keep changing, so and know what to expect. Thursday came, some more backing up. I'm saying some more straight backing they showing with us. And um, some more pre-trip. They going. We're going. Each instructor. They just showing us more pre-trip, more pre-trip. They they gonna drill this pre-trip in you. So when they say like if you don't understand understand it in three to four weeks, I'm saying you probably not gonna get it at all. You say so that's why I send, they send a lot of people home, um, because they 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 say there's multiple repetitions of you doing this stuff. So if you ain't doing this stuff, if you're doing this stuff and not getting it, you're not gonna make it. Hey Friday. You say, um. Same thing, you know saying it's more straight back in, um, pre trip. Um, so I mean, whoever didn't finish their test, you know I'm saying, because you do, do you do get a test that you have to finish called an ELDT test, which is like 50 questions of all the videos that you did, you know what I mean, and you got to answer them. Um, you don't want to fail that, John, so like 50 questions, um, you got to get 80%, you know what I mean, um, they for my class, they said we got to finish it by Monday. I mean, I advise you to get it done as fast as possible. Friday, we also took us on a um, demo ride. Took us on a demo ride with a trainer. Um, they was driving, we was in the truck, just watching everything he's doing. He was going up hills, see how he's turned, all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? So we was on a demo ride for like an hour with the trainers. Um, and um, that was definitely lucrative. And just give me a, gave you, gives you an eye how the road is going to be and what obstacles you're going to come across. So, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. I feel like I'm in a good position right now. I've been studying, been studying, studying with my flashcards. And uh, man, I ain't playing, man. I've been out there yesterday at like eight, nine, eight, I done nine at night with a couple of the classmates, bro, just running over our preacher, running over our preacher, running over our preacher. And um, they say you have a higher, higher percent passion rate if you all work together. I'm saying if you got classmates, a group, that y'all working together, most of y'all gonna graduate. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we've been doing. And um, yeah, man, I can't complain, man. Everything's been smooth. It's been smooth. You know what I mean? And, um, you just gotta put 100% in there. Put 100% in there, don't half fast it. Um, you do get free time at your hotel, man. My free time, I'm studying, doing whatever I, doing whatever I do before I go to sleep, man. Last, last night, bro, I, was, I had a dream about pre-trip. That's how much I've been doing it. I had a dream about trucking everything, you know what I'm saying? So be 100 in it, be dedicated to this shit, bro, because it's a lot of reward at the end, you know what I'm saying, in this career. You know what I mean? I was talking to a lot of the uh, instructors and trainers, man, like, just hearing their story and hear things they've done and the money they made, bro. Lucrative business for sure. I mean, just make sure y'all driving records cool. Make sure y'all got no suspended license, deal wise, all that. Just be on your be on your toes, man. Shit ain't no game. I mean, it's thirty percent truckers are black. We trying to change that. I'm trying to change that by being on my P's and Q's. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, man, I'm gonna keep it updated for the next week and um, keep on my journey, man. Let's keep keep it going. I'm out.